Mina san. Konnichiwa. Sherlock this. And welcome back to Onimusha Warlords. During this playthrough, I'm going to be looking at the historical accuracies and inaccuracies, as well as any other interesting facts about ninja and samurai, history, culture, or martial arts that come up throughout this playthrough. So, let's see where we were. Now, last time I believe I was exploring, looking for the left side of the crest. So nice, let's press the button to go downstairs. Hopefully there'll be uh, less hidden traps around the castle this time. <clears throat> and there's a pep hole on the wall. Oh, some zombie samurai. Well, they were surprisingly easy. Oh, he's not in here. Oh, now he is. Okay. I'm clicking on everything. You never know, there might be something interesting. Or not. Uh, this guy obviously used to be an adventurer. He's taken an arrow to the knee. Okay, so this is the area I've obviously been before. That oh, doesn't look like that door on my right there. Someone else has left, I should say. That seems to be unlocked. Oh no! Okay, what was down here? Ah, yes, the. Uh... Okay. Well, let's have a look at this room in here. I don't believe I've been in there yet. There we go. Exciting bit of progress. Armor again. I... Ceremonial armor. Secret doorway between the walls. Ah, yes, there was some uh, ladders. There is a ladder here. Climb up. Yes. If I remember rightly, is this the one I've just? This is the one I've just come from. There we go. Okay. You can go further down this ladder. Which way will you go? I'm going to go down. I'm going to see what was in here. Ooh. Nice, exciting storeroom. Good bit of pottery. Expensive looking pots and scrolls. Ooh. There we go. Got the left crest piece. Excellent. Anything else interesting in this room? I like this scroll on the wall here, that's very nice. In fact, actually, there's, there's very many nice things to have in a house there. Good bit of decoration. Okay, I'm done. Okay. There's a ladder here, climb up. Yes. Now, if I remember rightly, I need to put the crest in here. There we go. A locked door. Looks like you need to fit something in here. I've got something. Uh, use the right crest piece. Yes. You used the right crest piece. Oi. Okay. Saito clan crest piece is set. Groovy. The door still won't open. Looks like you need another crest piece. To... I know. I've, I've got it. Oh yeah, I need to press the... Uh... There we go. Left crest piece. Use that. Beautiful. Saito Cran crest piece is set. I apparently can't read English today. The door is now unlocked. Exciting. Nimaru! Oto! Korewa, Korewa! Samanosuke dono! Kangaite itadake mashita kana? Nobunaga ko ni tsukaeru ken. Okay. <laughs> 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 <
信長公が玄馬の力を借りて天下を取ろうとしてるのはもうご存知でしょう無駄な努力はやめた方が良いですぞふざけるな<笑>それで罪もない大勢の人間を玄馬の餌として地底に送り込むのかそうだこの世は弱肉強食農民は侍に従い人間は玄馬に従うしかないてめえあと一刻も経たぬうちに暗黒儀式が行われる雪姫のドクロに生き地を満たし信長公が一気に飲み干せば斎藤家との戦は我が織田勢の勝利間違いなしやった<笑>またお会いしましょう様之助殿。<laughs> well, that was、uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who very dedicatedly served Oda Nobunaga and would ultimately avenge Oda's death. Very good at、uh, jumping around. Three scroll pictures hang here, there is nothing unusual about them. Exciting in here. Let's see, there we are. Got fluorite. Nice. Okay, let's have a look and see here. Got the sea. That's one of these again. Grudge against a power has wanted a man's averted plan. Interesting fighting strategy of these zombie ninja. In fact, they're using techniques from a school that I would say is similar to the Kumogakure Ryu. Very often using、uh, jumping techniques and acrobatics to confuse, disorientate your opponent, as well as being able to give them hits as you're moving around. Very difficult to hit someone who's very acrobatic like that. Kumogakure Ryu school, quite famously used by Ujin Khan, Genbu Khan, and many other、uh, martial arts systems that teach、uh, schools of ninjutsu. By the demons has granted a man their power. This brave and powerful man also bears a grudge against the demons. We'll be talking about Oda Nobunaga. What do we have here? This magic mirror. Very nice. Well, as always, I'll be very brave. I'm a slave here. There's a ladder here. I'd like to climb up. Why not? It will be a nice view from up there. 
Swinging a sword one direction and the other is always a nice time to be able to strike that one. It takes time to realign that and the uh, so again, it takes time for the opponent to realign their weapon for their second strike, particularly with bigger, heavier weapons. That is a very large sword. to use one of them. Marvelous. Now, let's coin, because I believe that has some magic left in it. It does. Give it a bit of fire. Ooh. Yeah, like that. Ooh. decorations on the roof. They are very reminiscent of the uh, decorations put on the roofs of uh, particularly Osaka Castle they remind me of. Which, if anyone's ever in Osaka, the castle is an absolute must. Go in there, visit the place. It's incredible. And what's this shiny thing? Ooh, Arashi. a bow. Ooh. That is very funky. Okay. Anything else exciting up on this rooftop other than the very lovely decorations there? I do like those. I'll have to get them put on top of my apartment. Okay. Now I did hear that. Let's get out there. Where is he gone? Okay. Sword. Yeah, so I've had one for a little while. He's like quite a bit of magic from the other ones. 
No, I did hear him when I was around here, so where's he hiding? Where's he managed to get himself out somewhere? Well, I actually didn't check all the way around the tower. Aha! There we go, so... Uh, she does have the use straight away. なんだ、お姉ちゃんは。だから弱いものを見ると自分と同じように思え、放っておけなかったんだ。今の世は強いものだけが望まれ合って。世界うん。俺は希望がある。楓、残された時間はあと Uh, in fact, exactly as Samonosuke said, during the Sengoku Jidai, when Japan's warring factions were constantly attacking each other, one way of being able to bargain for peace was with arranged marriages. Now, for the greater good, this sometimes worked out quite well, but it was very unfortunate for those forced into these marriages. It was not one of choice, it was one of convenience. So very often, to produce children was simply expected of them for the greater good of their clans, which could very often lead to an unpleasant life simply for the preservation of their own clan. Well, there's some nice armour on the wall there as well. I've got my holy armour on. I like that. These guys. Yuki Hime is underground, 
is she going to use this? Normal arrows, yes. How do I, um... Oh. Ah. There we go, learn something new. That is Oh, this guy, there you go. Right again. Obviously, fighting in uh, Battlefield is very stressful for these other samurai. Yeah. Oh, I saw something sparkling there. Marvellous. Uh, Dramatic music again. Ah, oh, it's this fellow. Uh, he doesn't need to be bothering me. Now, underground. Is there a route to this way? Coming in now. Japanese Yumi is an asymmetrical bow design, so the top half is longer than the bottom half. Invariably, this was so that they could manoeuvre the bow around the horse's head. Uh, samurai originally were actually primarily mounted archers, so they'd be on their horse and they'd be firing from there. It combines effectively artillery and cavalry into one unit. Uh, the sword actually got its fame much, much later in samurai history. But as we can see from the way here, Samanasuke draws, uh, draws the bow, he's not using what's become the traditional style in Kyudo of raising the bow above his head and doing a long draw. This is more like Kyujutsu. Simple, straightforward, it just fires the bow. This is a style that was used on the battlefield in olden times. It didn't have the... Uh, meditation or ceremonial purpose that modern day Kyudo has now perfected. During these times of Samanosuke, he would want to just get the arrow knocked, draw and fire as quickly as possible, which is exactly the style he seems to be using here. 
But interestingly, this is also what comes into the design of the sword aid and why it was very much maneuverable. It would allow the full extension from Samurai to be able to draw the bow. In fact, raising the bow higher uses more chest muscle than it does uh, pure arm strength, as is common used in a European bow. But anyway, enough of that. Yukihime is waiting somewhere underground, which I believe was down this way. I might be entirely wrong here. older version of the Sodi. As the uh, boring times progress directly. Do you mind? Am I, am I supposed to press something here? Oh, I do seem to be very low on health. Let's use one of those. Okay. So, I'll let the zombie come to me. Uh, the larger sword though, that you can actually see there are an older style of the ones that Samonosuke are wearing. And this was as... There we go. This was as combat progressed and firearms became more prevalent in Japanese warfare. The need for the sword though, to be as large was... Well, it wasn't as necessary anymore. A bullet fired from a gun would travel a lot faster and have a lot more force behind it than an arrow coming in. So the use of the sword they became smaller. Ah, name the relic created by the band of orders to destroy the demons. Okay, I can't remember that one. But I see the magic mirror here. I'm possibly lost. I will have to do some exploring and talking about facts later. So, I'm going to save at this point. Let's do this one here. And I will end the video there. So, once again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. As always, I am Sherlock. Minasan mite kurete arigatou gozaimasu. Atode, aimashou.